How are you guys doing out there? Repart Killer 666 coming to you from Rad Ride to Heaven. Um, still having a little problem with the light issue, nothing too big. I uh, have been able to work on my cars, but I'll show you guys the light that I'm supposed to be getting, and for some reason or not, nobody seems to have this ridiculous light. But I found a place who has it at least two to three weeks, and they'll send it out. This is the light that goes in that thing that I had, which. It's a magnified glass, but this goes underneath, and this was the light that I always used when I did a video, which was not bad, not good, but I always had two lights on. Now I just got one, and I'm hoping the videos come out okay, but this is what I'm waiting for, and as they said, maybe two weeks, I'm trying to rush it as fast as possible to get the light, so let's see what happens anyway. But anyway, these are the cars I've been working on. I've been working on a few things here, back, back and forward couple of old cars that I had sitting around. This is one of the cars I'm going to start working on. Uh, Saturday and Sunday is what I have. Before I start a new adventure with a new friend. Uh, actually working somewhere. Uh, not steady in the place. But working for him. And see how it goes. If I don't like it, I'll go back to what I was doing. So uh, I'll figure that out as it goes. Been before I decided to say... It'll be a while before I make another video. I said, let me make a video, let people know where I'm at. That way when they see it again, they'll know what cars I've been working on, what I've been working at, and what I've been doing. So you guys all know these cars. I showed them. This car is basically completely finished. It basically just suffers from the same thing the other 32 does, carburetors. As you can see in here, there ain't none. There ain't none because the carburetors I got, I'm not 100% sure that I am going to put them on. I finally got in touch with the place that I bought some. And the guy told me that he's going to send me new ones. Hope he's going to repad them a little bit heavier. But they won't chip all up. Because the other ones had a rough time through the mail. So he's going to resend them. He came back on the 20th. And he decided to send me a new pair. And I said good. So one of these two will get them. And the other one will get whatever. But this is completely finished. As you can see everything is put onto it. I did show it on the other video. Uh, everything is put onto it. The crazy front end on it. Uh, all the paint was done to it. All the rusting that I, little bit that I wanted to put into it. Like I said, I wasn't going to rust this heavy rust, but I was going to put rust in it. All the interior is done. Uh, that crazy chair that I did for this watch chair. Uh, one of these days, I'll take it apart and be able to show it even better. I'll uh, put some lighting right into it, and I will show it again. All I got is the skull to paint white and do a little bit of uh, detail on him. And that's it. Everything else on this car is completely finished. So once I put the carburetors in, next time I'll do a video, I'll shine a nice light inside of it. Get a nice flashlight that I got. And you guys will be able to see inside. So he's completely done. I, I put the fan on there for the look of it. I didn't put the fan on there actually for anything else. Oh, and I got to run the hoses from here all the way over there. Big giant hoses. So I have that, and I'll put them on next video. You'll see, you'll see all that on, and the carburetors. So I did that fan there for the fun of it, put it on. I think it would look nice, and I just decided to put it on. But he's all finished completely. Same problem with this one here. Do have the carburetors. Don't got the color paint of gold that I want to shoot it with. My fault. Thought I had more left in the can. I actually don't. So basically, next time you see it, everything else will be on. Winch will be working. I did get the wire that I want for the back, which is a string, but it looks like it's metal type. So it'll go on. Interior will go on. Everything will go on. Motor's already done. Head has been painted. Motor's in place. Everything will be finished next time you see this car. Completely. Completely finished. You won't see anything else needed to be done on that. This thing here. I had this thing here for a very long time. Over a year. Maybe over more than a year. I uh, bought it. Uh... And decided to do some work on it. Said, you know what? I had it sitting for such a long time. as one of my videos. I painted it white. And then I said, ah, let me do the body. I took out the body and decided to go crazy on it. And the rust came out perfect. I mean, everywhere. Still got a lot of little details to do. Maybe a little runs on the side. Maybe a little bit more details here and there. But that's it. Threw some baby blue on it to make it look a little crazy. Uh, connected the steering all up. Connected the front of it all up. Uh, put the radiator support. The stacks I just put in there. They're going to be taken back out to paint another color. Um, I might just paint the centers, not the whole stacks. I got to do the wiring, the water pump, and maybe the heads will be taken off and painted another color. 
I uh, did some crazy things in the interior there. I got a battery that's going to be thrown on the side. I did connect completely the steering column. That steering column is completely connected from in to out and all the way up. So it is connected. I have the shifter for it, which I'm going to do uh, pretty soon. I'll have the shifter in, seat where it belongs, and a couple other things, the battery, the lights in the back, and the license plate. I'm just going to hang from the bottom, almost scraping the floor just for the fun of it. Um, just going crazy on them. I mean, I enjoy this one. Tell you the truth, guys, I had it put away for such a long time. And when I took it out, I said, I'm going to go off on it. And I just went crazy on it. But I enjoy this build. Believe me or not. I sat there and I enjoyed it and had a lot of fun. Also, the head has got to be painted white. And then that's about it. I'm going to move this out the way, guys. Uh, so bear with me for a little bit. I'm trying to move the stuff out the way. So you guys can see better. Um, 32, the other 32 five window coupe is also finished completely. Those are the carburetors that are coming. I'm going to put them in. I got a question for you guys. I hope you guys will be pretty honest. The headers are bothering me. They've been bothering me since I put them on. I really didn't talk about them in my other video. I don't know if they... I find them too big or I find them a little funny. What you guys think about them, let me know. I haven't fixed the shifter because I haven't worked on the car, taking it apart to decide what I wanted to do because I was thinking of the headers also at the same time. So tell me what you guys think. Did the headers look okay or should I try to build my own? You know, it all depends, you know, how I go about it. But let me know. Be honest and be true. You know, let me know. Just let me know what you guys think. I just don't find them to be my liking. Not 100%. I'm not satisfied with them. Put it that way. Um, the truck here. Done a lot of work to this truck. Uh, the hood, I'm going to fix. I'm going to move this away, guys. So bear with me one second. Thank you. Um, the hood. I'm going to fix this hood on the truck. Um, I'm actually going to take the hood and shape it. Whoa, there it goes. It almost went, guys. It almost went. Uh, it would have been a nice one on video, right? It almost went. But it's okay. It's okay. It's still okay. Just have a lot of stuff up on here. But the hood, what I'm going to do is shape it actually what it's supposed to look like. Uh, once the uh, hood is peeled up, I think it's just too thick on the side. So what I'm going to do is sharpen everything. Everything is actually going to look as sharp as a knife. I'm going to go and file everything really, really nice and get it done to where I want it to look like very sharp like it's supposed to do if you rip the hood open when you cut them open. I did a visor for it, but that's not where it's sitting. It's going to sit a little bit up more. It was just for mocking up. Uh, I did all the wooden thing in the back. It's going to have some metal pieces inside of him, those copper ones that I roll up all the time. I know you guys see me using on a lot of cars, but it's just copper phone wire. I take it, I roll it up together, either make it thick or make it thinner, but I do, I like using it. It's one of my favorite things to use on everything. It's simple, it's easy to work with, and I like working with it. I'm going to lift the body off of it and show you the crazy inside that I've done for this car. Bear with me, some parts might fall off, some won't. Let's see if it comes off nicely like it usually does. Because the inside is one of the pieces where... Okay, here it goes. Not bad. I got away with that one, guys. Well, this is the inside. I made it out of wood. Made my own chairs. Uh, got the dash in place. I'm going to put all my clocks in here. I ordered some clocks. I'm going to put a speedometer, oil, battery, and then a few other ones here. And a tack clock on the top of that big motor. Um, so did it all out of wood. Got it perfectly to fit in there. I'm going to stain it all up, get the chairs looking the way they're supposed to, and basically that'll be it for it. Uh, after that, it'll be still having done all the bracing that I'm supposed to be doing on it. It'll be basically, this is never going to go back on this way, so I'm not going to try anyway. But I'm going to do all the bracing and then start painting it. And I got something crazy for the paint job. I'm going to add stuff on it, and you'll see when I get it done, I'm going to remove it from here. I don't want it to fall anymore. But everything is going to go on the plow truck just like it did from the box. The only thing that is not going to go on it, of course, is the wheels. Uh, I'm going to put the top railing piece. I'm going to put the front piece on it. The plow is going to go on it. The spare tire, the gas thing. Everything is going to go on it with a crazy-ass paint job that I got for it. I got a crazy-ass paint job for it. But you guys will see when it gets done. Um, the truck... I worked on this. This is a... Eh, let me say it the right way. I don't know if kids are watching it. It's a pretty pain. You know where. But anyway, I'm still going to work on it. I did the full chassis already. Uh, let me lift the box off. 
I did the winch in the back, it's working. But once I get this on here and glued on into place, this will work better. But it's not actually gonna work completely, mm, little bit, because it's too low. I gotta still deal with the wheels, which keep falling off, but I got a trick for them already, so I'll have it soon done box done and put on but the full chassis is done uh the front is tilting very nice everything in the front was done i rusted the cans i rusted the front of it i'm gonna turn it around to show you sorry about my hand um that's all been done and dealed with uh motor is completely in primer so the motor will be the next thing you'll see in it and the cabin of course sorry about that guys the cabin will be worked on and painted there's the bumper just got to do now the wash over it and a little details to it I rusted the lights. I rusted every other part that's going to go in the front of this thing. It's going to be completely rusted. So I've been doing a lot of work on it. So, guys, I'll be busy for a while. So if I don't make another video, it's not that I left and took off. It's that I'm adventuring in a new adventure to see if it works out. But this is what I'm going to be working on next time you see it. A little rusting, a little craziness to it, but not too much. But anyway, I put all this together, try to get it in here. Uh, show you guys where I'm up to uh, Thank you for all the comments my subscribers. Thank you for everything all you guys. They're building awesome cars um, watching 101 uh, uh, Plastic 101 I believe his name is I probably messed up his name and the truck he's doing cutting it up and extending it is awesome I love that part um, Watching that because I have one of the trucks and who knows what I might do with it But um, you guys take care be safe and again my subscribers. Thank you for everything. Take care